put some blocks, just rode up on them. I'm gonna jack the car up so I can get to the oil panel a little easier. Just don't forget, put some wheel chocks in the back. So your car doesn't go rolling backwards even though the parking brake is on and it is in gear. And since we're gonna be raising the car up, get a pair of floor jacks for your own safety. If you guys don't know, there is a little spot right here where the jack goes. It's also one in the back. Obviously we're just using on this one. Just wanna show you guys if you didn't know. Alright, the car's been sitting for a while, so it's pretty cool. This is probably the easiest oil change you'll do in your entire life. Jacked up, we're gonna go underneath, take off the bolt to the oil pan, we'll get it drained. I got one of these uh, adapters here, the Fumotos, make life a little easier. I've always wanted one of these, I finally have one. Yay! So we're gonna throw this on, and the, underneath the car, we have the bolt right here to the oil pan. We're going to be undoing the bolt. I have a 9/16 socket. We're going to take that off, drain the oil out. Once it's out, we're going to install the Fumoto adapter after everything's been drained out clearly. So now we have our pan here. I'm just going to crank on this bolt. Oil's pretty much drained out, just dripping a little bit. I have the adapter here. Just gonna wipe off. And then we're just gonna screw this in. down with an Allen key so it's secure. That's it. Some of these uh, OEM filters actually on eBay. They sell them on Amazon as well. Just trying to stick with the OEM filter at least. And uh, that's all. Take this plastic off. And just screw it on. Hand tight. 
tighten it. Coil we're using is the Rotella T6 5W40. This is for diesels. But apparently it has really good reviews for Subaru uh, boxer engines. And it helps keep the engine a little bit cleaner. And it works with uh, higher temps. When you're done, make sure everything's tightened up, get the car back on the ground, everything's level. We'll start it up, see if there's any leaks, make sure the oil gets through the engine, it heats up, you know, if the car warms up, make sure everything's good to go. Just double check underneath, especially if you put one of those adapters, just make sure the, uh, there's no, nothing wrong with the seal or the grommet. So we're going to start it up and just, just, like I said, just double check. Everything seems to be fine, it's still warming up, you can hear it, it's about to go to a regular idle now. I'm just going to check the uh, dipstick level. Make sure the oil level is at the right spot. If you guys like my sock, old sock. Alright, and we're good to go, it's the right level. And I used uh, five and a half quarts. I used one of the gallons, uh, about two gallons, I'm sorry. And I just used five and a half total. And there you have it. Simple as that. Everything's right on top. The bolt's super easy to access, and once you have the new Fumoto drain plug, it's even easier, so. To dispose your oil you know, at, the, at the right place, bring it to like a Pet Boys or an auto store so they can dispose of it the proper way. Uh, just don't go dumping it anywhere. I'm sure you guys are smarter than that, but there's some people out there that you know don't really give a crap.